Two spay and neuter clinics are now getting out of that practice, at least for now, and that is leaving some animal activists worried about whether San Antonio can maintain its status as a no-kill city, which it reached just last month. Now, News 4 San Antonio's uh, Robert Price is, or Andrew Lawfoam, I should say, joins us live from Spay SA. Andrew? Yeah, we're outside Spay SA. This is one of five low-class clinics across San Antonio for spay and neutering. But come March, there'll be only four. As Spay and SA announced, they're going a new direction. It's one of five low-cost clinics in San Antonio. They're strategically placed to reach 23 at-risk zip codes where animal overcrowding is a major problem. Peaking in 2010 when they did over 14,000 surgeries, pet owners will now have to look elsewhere. In release on its website, Spay SA says starting March 12th, it will turn its focus to education. I think both are equally important. That's Carolyn Hinojosa. Uh, I am a former animal care officer for the city of San Antonio. She's now the director of Isabella's Canine Rescue and Rehab. Spay SA's announcement comes as the Animal Defense League announces its temporary halting of its Wednesday Spay and Neuter for Dogs program. ADL says it's because its kennel is maxed out. You run into the problem of, yes, the public needs to be educated, but they also have to have the avenue of spay and neuter and low cost spay and neuter to free in order to follow that education. ACS proudly announced its no kill last month, but is that at risk? What is their plan for covering the surgeries that are being done by the two organizations? Lisa Norwood is a spokeswoman for ACS. We believe that we will be able to meet the demand of the community. Norwood says to fill the gap between now and fall 2017 when a new low-cost clinic opens near Brooks City Base, Pet owners can use the other clinics or talk to their vet about an affordable surgery. Given that we have so many different options, if people will just avail themselves of all those different options, I think that we'll be fine. This is all ahead of World Spay Day tomorrow. Hinojosa is holding a, an event tomorrow at 11 a.m. outside of City Hall to help raise awareness. We're live on the west side. Andrew Lawfoam, News 4 San Antonio.